Welcome dear students to lecture 2 of module 4. In today's lecture, we will work out some more numericals on finding the stability using roots criteria. So we have to investigate the stability of the characteristic equation given by 3s to the power 4 plus 10s cube plus 5s square plus 5s plus 2 equal to 0. So what is the first step? We have to write the root array. So let me just let us just write the root array. So first is we have to write the highest power of s to the power 4. Then the coefficient of s to the power 4 is 3. Next alternate after that next. Now if this is odd uh, even power, no, we have to write only the even power coefficients here. Next is 5 and we have to check whether all the coefficients are available. Everything is there. Okay. 5 and 2. Next here x cube. So now s cube coefficient is 10. Then all the odd powers. So here 5. Okay. So we have written all the coefficients. Now new row s square. This you have to get by calculation. So say it is b1. So it is 10 into 5. 10 into 5 minus 3 into 5 divided by 10. Okay. So how much do you get this as? It's a calculator. You will get it as 3.5. So we we'll substitute here as 3.5. Next is what? 10 into 2. You don't have any other term over here. So this is 10 into 2 divided by 10. We get it as 2. So here we get it as 2. Next s to the power 1. Here c1 is equal to 3.5 into 5 minus 10 into 2 divided by 3.5. So, use a calculator, simplify, we get it as minus 0 0.714. Then s to the power 0. What is that? Say d is equal to minus 0 0.714 into 2 divided by minus 0 0.714. So, what do you get this as? 2. See, this 2 is nothing but over here, this a n term. Okay, always s to the power 0 has to be the a n term of the characteristic equation. So now check the first column over here. Do we have a sign change? Yes, we have a negative sign there. So the system is unstable. And how many roots are there on the right half? You have to see the Sign changes. See, sign changes from where up to 3, 10, 3.5, all the sign is positive. 3.5 to minus 0 0.75, 714. So, there's one sign change. Again, minus 2, here, plus 2. Therefore, two sign changes. So, what is the meaning of this? Two roots. Two roots are in right hand side of S plane. This is what we deduce from this sign change. Okay, so the question over here is characteristic equation of a feedback control system is given by S cube plus 3k S square plus k plus 2 into S plus 4 equal to 0. We have to determine the range of k for which the system is stable. So first thing is constructing the root there. So here S cube. Coefficient of s cube 1, then the odd coefficients of s. So, next is s. So, k plus 2. Next, s square. Coefficient of s square 3 k. s to the power 0 is 4. Next, s to the power 1. So, how do we calculate? Say, b1 if I consider 3 k into k plus 2 minus 1 into 4 divided by 3k. So simplifying, we get it as 3k square plus 6k minus 4 divided by 3k. So I will write over here, here at s to the power 1. So this is 3k square plus 6k minus 4 divided by 3k. Okay, and last s to the power 0, 
that is this s to the power 1 term 3k square plus 6k minus 4 by 3k into 4 divided by the same. So we get this as 4. Now in this question they have asked us to determine the range of k for which system is stable. So we know system is stable. For what is the condition for the system to be stable? The first column elements has to be positive. Hence I can take 3k should be greater than 0. Therefore we know that k should be greater than 0. Okay. Now coming to the next row. We have 3k square plus 6k minus 4 to be greater than divided by 3k to be greater than 0. So what do we have here? 3k square plus 6k minus 4 to be greater than 0. So what do we have to do over here? You use your calculator and find the roots of this. Okay. So here, so I must start a k over here. Let me write this k. So if you use a calculator, after uh, using the calculator, what are the roots you get for k? So k we get as 0 0.528 and minus 2.523. See, uh, we know system is stable. Hence, we cannot take this negative value over here. So this we cancel out. So k should be equal. No, I have to take here greater. No. So here k should be greater than 0 0.528. So, greater than 0, greater than this. So, for any value of k greater than 0 0.528, the system is stable. Or I can write it as k greater than, one second, let me just, so I will write the range over here, k greater than 0 0.528 and less than infinity. So this is the range. K should be greater than 0 0.528 and less than infinity. Up to this range, the system is stable. This is what we have to find. So next question over here is, the characteristic equation of a feedback control system is s to the power 4 plus 20k s cube plus 5 s square plus 10 s plus 15 equal to 0. Determine the range of k for which the system is stable. So first thing as you all know by now we have to construct the root there. So s to the power 4. So 1 and 5 and 15. Next s cube. 20k and 10 over here. New row s square. So what do we get? V1 is equal to 20k into 5 minus 10 divided by 20k. So this will be multiplying 100k minus 10 divided by 20k. We get then V2 is 20k into 15 by 20. So we get this as 15. Next, s to the power 1. That is, c will be 100k minus 10 divided by 20k into 10. Okay. Minus 20k into 15 whole divided by this is 100k minus 10 divided by 20k. So we have to simplify this. You take common denominator okay, and simplify. So first let us multiply this 10 into this and then common denominator as well. So we get this as 1000k minus 100 minus common denominator. If I take this will become 20 into 15 into 20 that will become 6000 k square whole divided by 20k 20k gets cancelled. This is 100k minus 10. This is what we get. So here this is s to the power 1 is minus 6000 k square plus 1000 k just write it like this minus 100 divided by 100k minus 10. Then s to the power 0 will be this 
6000 k minus 6000 k square that is here c okay c into 15 divided by c we get so it is 15 we get now we need to find the range of k so first let us take c 20 k greater than 0 so k, k should be greater than 0 then 100 k minus 10 greater than 0 so 100 k minus 10 by 20 k greater than 0. So, what we get over here? This we get as 100 k greater than 10 or k is greater than 0.1 we get. Then we have to go to the next two. That is this c. So, I will uh, take it over here. So, what do we have c as? We have it as minus 6000 k square plus 1000 k minus 100 greater than 0 divide by when it goes right hand side you come 0 right now use your calculator to find the roots so when you find the root what are the roots you get for k we get it as 0 0.08 plus j 0 0.09 and one more root as 0 0.08 minus j 0 0.09 what do we get here we get a complex conjugate roots But what is the main thing you have to notice is we have here roots with the positive real parts. So what happens with positive real parts? It be on the so it will be on the right hand side of the S plane. Hence, how is the system? System is unstable this you have to keep in mind okay so here a unity feedback system is described by the characteristic equation s to the power 6 plus 2 s to the power 5 plus 8 s to the power 4 plus 12 s cube plus 20 s square plus 16 s plus 16 equal to 0 test its stability and the frequency of oscillation so now first step as we all know is the root there highest power is s to the power 6 so now we have tried all the uh, coefficients of even power surface s to the power 6 is 1 next it is 8 s square that is 20 s to the power 0 is 16 next s to the power 5 coefficient is 2 s cube coefficient is 12 s coefficient is 16 okay so we have written everything new row s to the power 4 so what is s to the power 4 2 into 8 minus 12 how much is that we get it as 2 next 2 into 20 minus 16 divided by 2 what do you get 12 next 2 into 16 divided by 2 we get it as 16 now new row s to the power 3 2 into 12 minus 2 into 12 by 2 we get it as 0 2 into 16 minus 2 into 16 by 2 we get it as 0 so two terms we get zero what do we do we cannot proceed further nothing is uh, concluding or even we can't no we have to complete the array and it is not possible so this if such thing occurs what we have to do is see this is the all the terms in this row is zero so we have to take one row above that that this is this row and that is taken as auxiliary equation it is called so 2 into s to the power 4 plus 12 into s square. See, uh, we have already write the alternate terms here, okay. So, after s to the power 4, it is s square, not s cube, okay. We don't write that. Plus 16, s to the power 0, so that is 16. This is the auxiliary equation. Then, we have to differentiate it with respect to s. So, this is 4 to 8 s cube plus this is 24 s plus 0 we get over here okay now what you have to do now we have to again construct the new the root array and wherever we have 0 now that you have to replace with the coefficients of this differentiated equation so let me rewrite the root array okay so when I rewrite so this is s to the power 6 that is 1 8 20 and 16 s to the power 5 we have 2 
12, 16. S to the power 4. This also we got as 2, 12, 16. See. S cube er, row, we had all zeros. Now, this we have to replace with the auxiliary, differentiated auxiliary equation coefficient. So, we had 8 S cube and 24 S. This And here we have a 0. Now, we will start with the new row now calculation. So, 8 into 12 minus 2 into 24 divided by 8. So, we get this as 6. Then, 8 into 16 minus 2 into 0 by 8. So, what do we get? We get it as 16. Next, s to the power 1. So, 6 into 24 minus 8 into 16 by 6. That we get divided by 6. 2.67. Then, s to the power 0. 2.67 into 16 by 2.67. Get this as 16. Okay. So, now, this is complete. The root array. Now, check the first column. First column, there is no sign change. Hence, no sign change. Therefore, system is stable. Okay. Now here, system is stable. That is what we have to say. But we have one row full row zero, right? So now what? Let us find the roots now. Or uh, we have to find the frequency of oscillation, right? So, frequency of oscillation when we find, so what is that? How do we find that? We had that uh, one full row zero, no? So, the, above that we got the auxiliary equation, right? What is auxiliary equation we got? We got this 2s to the power 4 plus 12s square plus 16 equal to 0. This we have to take and find the roots of this. Uh, what I will do for simplicity, I will take x square as x. So, I can write this as 2x square plus 12x plus 16 equal to 0. When we find the roots, what do we get? We get this roots. Use a calculator. We get x equal to minus 2 and minus 4. Where I can write s square is equal to minus 2. So, if I take this, we get it as plus or minus j root 2. One more s square, we get it as minus 4. So, this I can, we get it as plus or minus j 2. See, now what do we have? We have 4 roots at the this uh, imaginary axis. Therefore, we can say the system is marginally stable. System is marginally stable. Okay. So, this is the conclusion over here. System will be marginally stable as we have roots lying on the imaginary axis. Okay. These are non-repeated roots there. So, system is marginally stable.